Hey potatoes, it's Corey. I am recording the Christmas haul video that you guys have asked for again, 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 and I feel like I'm getting out in a pretty quick time, so I'm pretty impressed with myself if I get this edited pretty quick. I'm super short on time to get this done. I'm supposed to be meeting Keely, but if I don't record it, I can't edit it and I can't get it out, so I just had to find time and make it done. Make it done. Find time to get it done. And that's why this bun looking thing this is just doing its own thing. I didn't have time to fix this, but like if we're just being real, my hair is normally in a bun. My makeup was already like halfway done so I just touched it up and said let's just go for it so I have a drawer full of all my new makeup I'm gonna swatch some things just talk about other things and just show you all the fun new makeup I got and I'm sure you'll be seeing some videos with some of this stuff throughout the year and hopefully it helps you out the side if you want to go buy it or maybe you got it and you we have similar stuff who knows don't know just rambling say I'm short on time and I just keep talking so <laughs> let's get into this video So if you ask Carolyn, she says she got a lot of like maybe misses, but I think she did like really good. I think it's going to be fun in like the long run, like fun now, but I think it'll be fun in the long run if I like start expanding and like getting more comfortable with other things. So she got me a lot of glitters and I feel like there's a, like a proper term for this. Not like loose glitters, but like pressed glitters that you need like a glitter glue to get their full pigmentation. And I don't use glitters like that, so I don't own a glitter glue. So I'm definitely gonna need to order one. I've watched some videos on some, so I need to get that ordered so I can start using these because I now have a lot of glitters I need to start incorporating into my everyday, which um, I've brought that up to some people and they're like, that's gonna be so weird to see you in glitters on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're just gonna get through it together. I keep calling this hypnotic. This is hypnotized by Pinky Rose. Carolyn wanted to complete my collection. People always bend their palettes back like that and it like terrifies me, but I just did it. I heard it like, I'm sure if I like turned it up and it gives it like this not fun crease, but I'm just gonna, I already did it. This one has a fun, bright pinks, greens, blues, and purple pressed glitters. I've done it once and it gets super messy. So like, I guess I can show you how, like without a glitter glue, I'll pick this green. This would be something like it literally feels so smooth and if I show you my finger like that looks like it would be phenomenal when you go to swatch it but when you swatch it it of course that one's like not gonna be awful but every other time it's been like this down here it hasn't been like this I just look like a joke okay well that green did awesome well that's good that's just awkward okay but you wouldn't just like do one you would like move it around on your eye but i got like a ton of these so like that's gonna be fun to work with and i feel like a lot of clients would like want want those so that's exciting the fun part is when you go to take it off it just like is like that body glitter spray like back in the day we used to wear so i actually really am excited for these even though this seems like completely out of my element i think this would be like really fun to do on a client or like going out or something but this is the other hypnotized I was talking about this is the carton there isn't a hypnotized one or two so we're just gonna say this is the hypnotized neutral or hypnotic like I keep calling it and this I feel like you could wear these like every day and not get looked at like you're crazy like I feel like you would be okay like a smoky eye with this glitter on there is like I feel like a look somebody does every day with a shimmer so like that's not bad I wonder if I'm gonna look like I'm crazy again I'm pretty sure I did it with this color and that's when it like went to complete crap so again I put it on my finger and like it does that without a glitter glue. And like when I watched the video, like it was so filled in and just pigmented, 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 <laughs> pigmented and smooth. And I'm just, I'm really excited to play with these once I get that glitter glue on my hands. And since I never worked with glitter glues, if somebody has one, they recommend like by all means, please share. Also, not a lot of people still don't know about Pinky Rose. Like I've done videos on them. There is videos out there. I feel like I don't see a lot of big makeup gurus using Pinky Rose, but like on my Snapchat, some people like were said they've never heard of them. So still I'm coming for you pinky rose i'm always promoting you you can promote me back we can make it a deal always trying for you you could try for me i don't want to say this was like the christmas of morphe but i got the morphe 35 v this is the carton nothing special everything like theirs looks like that this is stunning vibes i've been trying to not use things but like it's really hard to like let this stuff sit here while i wait for this video so this one's like just a little bit messy but this is that one this one is a lot of neutrals and a lot of blues but i feel like i could take this like this would be a really good thing to take for clients because of all the different shimmers neutral colors and like those blues will allow me to add like a pop of color 
here so i'm excited for that these purples like always draw my attention i don't know why this color purple like i feel like i uh, maybe worn it like one or two times i'm not gonna lie i feel like that should have been just a little bit more pigment pig wow i'm struggling with that word i'm gonna say a thousand times in this video i just swatched that there it goes that was a little better like i don't know if it's because it reminds me of hocus pocus or it reminds me of selena but like i literally i love this color purple and i feel like i need to start incorporating it more because it looks so good i didn't even turn my ring light on i'm failing legit failing half this video is gonna have great lighting half of it is not so that's good and i know like morphe is so cheap and such good quality and such good product like i get it i do love you morphe for that but the one thing like i'm going to keep asking for is like you put this in there already and you already write it on something can you just do us all a favor truly look like i'm gonna give you a prototype right now like this like that i just want you to write the names okay just write the names on this okay now that i just fixed all my mistakes because i i don't know what i'm doing at the time this i don't know if i can truly count this because i bought this for myself on black friday but it was like kind of christmas to myself so i feel like it counts and should be in this video i got this on black friday this is the ardell wispies it's a value pack of gosh i have to do math right now could you just say it on the back it says on the front 12 pairs of wispy lashes like different kinds i've been wearing these same lashes forever so like i hold on to lashes for a long time because i feel like you can wear them for a long time but like when it's time when they finally lose their shape and it's time to go this is a really hard deal to pass up on so i did buy these for myself i love ardell lashes like they are the bomb i thought i can get the same look that honestly like when i look at lily lashes like i have lily lashes i have like four pairs they're still in the box never open i feel like i get the same look using these ones and i know these are called noir 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 i don't know what they're called but i feel like i can get the same look compared to like a high-end lash with these so like i hold on to cheap lashes for a long time I'm not gonna lie another pinky rose item i got was bright and light and carolyn again said she did this because she wants me to get out of my comfort zone because she thinks i just live in it and it's obviously 2019 is the year for shimmer so this is the colors <laughs> like say one time you've ever seen me wear any of these name one time because i'll be here to wait because there hasn't been but i'm super excited for this cupcake glitter like that's what it did the other day it's so creamy in but then when you swatch it it's like it's nothing and i just did a purple so then i'm going to swatch becky that just sounds like a petty name super pigmented like this could be a lot of fun i just have to get comfortable with stuff and like not comfortable in the sense of like walking out of my house because like let's be real that's a whole other level of comfort but like comfortable and like applying it because it's real easy if your browns look bad just keep blending and throw a lash on top of it and you can't tell because they're like all in the same color wheel but like you put on a pink or some bright color like you gonna see that through my drugstore lashes like that's not going away anywhere so that's what like the comfort zone of it is like I don't have to wear it outside the house to do it it's like me feeling confident to put it on my eye to record the video to post a video online for somebody I know because that's the people that watch it people that I actually know in real life to see the video like that's the intimidating part so like I'm hoping to get there one day I have a ton of content saved in my phone of things like I want to recreate because I'm not creative enough to think think of like colorful looks by myself but like it's there in my mind I'm hoping to get there one day catch me in 2019 maybe I'll get there always every year I ask for real techniques beauty blenders I love these things I've never used a like the original beauty blender like the what are they like $30 I don't know I've never used one of those I always use these I have two drawers and a bucket full up there these are the best things I use on myself I use these on a client I've gone from brushes I've done I feel like I've used every single applicator possible and I always go back to these these are the real OG like I love these i got the friendcation dose of colors desi and katie palette obviously a lot of palettes if you pick up on any pattern on my channel there's always a ton of palettes i thought this packaging was so cute i don't know it like feels good like that's weird like it doesn't matter what it feels like but like it just feels good i don't know i like it it's expensive as heck so it should feel good i've also dipped into this one obviously i couldn't wait that long this is the inside of this one and this palette i remember i was drawn to this like 
blue purple reflective color i think that shade is considered a moment if i'm reading the packaging right these are like you can get those i feel like everywhere but still a really pretty palette i really wanted it for a long time almost bought it for myself because it was 40 percent off like the day before christmas and carolyn's like don't buy it for yourself like christmas is coming around the corner just wait little did i know like her and my mom both bought it for me so one of them went back i'm gonna just watch two colors out of this because why not a moment like is a purple blue chrome but black as well as the back color in the pan looks like a stone color it's like a gray glitter like a black gray with glitter that gray one didn't blend out as easy so i feel like you definitely have to put in some work urban decay all nighter spray i've been using this forever nothing special to say about this i use it when i'm out of morphe got like three bottles i'm staring at one right now got another one in the drawer then when i found morphe's i just fell in love with it instead per usual when i find morphe's things this i was like shocked when my mom found this i don't know how she found this because like i've been looking for ever since it came out to be honest i've had gift cards to sephora that i was like saving up to use on this but it was the fenty by rihanna stunner lip paint and uncensored i don't know how she found the color uncensored because i literally have been searching forever for this color why well, i just knocked this like it with nail polish it looks like nail polish but i'm so happy she found this because i've literally been looking forever so kudos to you mom because i really don't know how you did such an interesting applicator like i know what shape it looks like a thick eight slim thick eight like this is a red for all seasons literally and when this came out they had said like this can looks kind of on every skin color and i like went and started searching and i remember like every single person i looked looked at with it on everybody like i didn't find a single person it looked bad on so if you ever want a red lipstick i couldn't find a single photo it didn't look good on so i'm all for uncensored Fenty lipstick. This is the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. That is so many words. I didn't even realize how many words that was because it's the brand, the collection, the name of the palette, then the category of what it is. I remember when I opened this, I didn't remember the packaging being this cute. Like this is adorable and it smells like the Kool-Aid Man or like Jolly Ranchers and it's so freaking good. Oh my god. So this is the packaging. Again, doesn't matter for anything upon your makeup, but it, like it matters to me because that's what I feel like what half time I build my collection off of and they put like cute little teal fees like they think they got you there that's how they added extra five dollars onto this packaging you know they did magnetic to open to close just like berry colors honestly it kind of reminds me of a better mini version of the naked cherry like that's some tea right there I'm not gonna lie I love this pink satin glitter right here so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that like this rose gold that's to die for I feel like I need to wear that every day on top of all these loose glitters I have and then I've just been in swatching all these ridiculous colors and all these palettes that like draw me to them and then you never see me wear them so why not just keep swatching like whew. what if you just like filled up your whole eye with that could you show up somewhere? Would you show up somewhere? Would your friends tell you you need to try again? Or would your friends just be like... <laughs> My friends would be like, try again. But some of y'all's friends would be like... It looks really good. I mean, it swatches this black. It swatches like pretty much as well as it does looks on your finger. Like it's pretty dry, I'm not gonna lie. Compared to what I feel like a normal matte looks like. And that black, not black, the glitter in the background, it's pretty subtle. But like literally living for this rose gold peach. I love that. Matches my little ears. <laughs> so cute i also i feel like i picked the wrong shirt i put on a brand new shirt gray shirt because all i wear is gray and burgundy i said i wasn't gonna wear this shirt in this video and i just gave up to look at my closet and it's all gray and burgundy so why even try to fight it but i didn't wear the same lipstick color i always wear so like i'm i'm trying here people give me some credit but i feel like i'm gonna end up ruining the shirt by touching something this i'm looking for ever this has been on my list for two years for sure just touched my shirt when i said i was going to this is anastasia i'm gonna say it wrong amrezi amrazi Amrezy, Amrezy, Charpezy highlighter. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I love, I just love this highlighter. And this has been one thing I've been trying to not use every single day because it would look so messy by the time I got to this video. Like I've literally been using this top corner <laughs> when I use it because I didn't want to just get in there and just start tearing it up. I just think like the little grooves and stuff like that, just detail, just presentation y'all. Presentation. Like that's so pretty. And look, I don't even have any hat on right now, so might as well. And there's a mirror. Oh! 
I feel like highlight compacts don't have mirrors that often. I'm putting this all on and I'm literally meeting Keely at the gym. This is all for you potatoes. And I'm gonna use what's on my finger to give me more of an inner corner highlight because you gotta shine bright from inner and outer parts of you. Okay, this again, I bought myself Christmas haul. What did Cory buy herself the month of December? No, to be honest, I only bought like three things myself and two of the three things are bought with gift cards that somebody gave me. So I feel like it really like actually doesn't count. I've used this foundation kind of before on my channel. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. That's the difference. I use, this is the first time I used a hydrating before I've used the matte and the matte is good for me in the summer and the winter it is not because you can just see everything. And this is in the shade Fair Beige and in this shade and formula it works really good for me in the winter time and I got it because it was on sale for $19 so I was like I can't pass that up because I wouldn't want to try the hydrating this my sister got me this is like the most Fenty I own now because I didn't own any this is a highlighter hustle baby and a lip gloss Fenty glow and I like never wear lip gloss but guess what also my lips have been struggling a lot during this holiday season so I actually did wear the lip gloss on Christmas because my lips are just picking up all my lip issues this is the little highlighter see if I had a clean finger I still have my Amrazi next to it Amrazi somebody told me how to say that word like phonetically in the comments it has more champagne and the Fenty has more gold undertones and then the lip gloss is uh, I don't know how to describe lip glosses because I don't like wear them the lip gloss is just like pinky with little glitter shimmers in there the Georges keeps going like this is great and there's a disgusting pile like it's disgusting because it's like great but there's just like like a giant pile of makeup next to me. This is the Norvina Anastasia palette. This completed my Anastasia eyeshadow palette collection. So that was exciting. I just gave away something else I just got if you caught on. So we'll get to that. I've been wanting this for a long time. Again, I dipped into this, so that's fine. Brush is gonna fall out. Yeah, I think this will be really fun in the spring. I'm excited for this palette. And I just love completing collections for like palettes I like actually use. Also just love like kind of how like it correlates, like the pinks and the purples, like everyone has like a little a matte and a shimmer to it. I think that's really cute. And this again, I think it's also I also just like love rose golds. The color is actually called rose gold in this palette. Oh my god, that feels so good, but it's also so pretty. That color is to live for. And then I'm gonna do soul, which is just ironic because I said to live for. Soul, a little patchy, but we know Anastasia mattes, we know they're patchy. Like we know they're powder, we know they're patchy, we know they're a little flaky, and not in like the friends that don't show up flaky, just the friends that like you know they're a little bit late sometimes and that's okay because I've I have learned generally I feel like I have learned very well with my clean brushes light hand easy strokes like how to use Anastasia's palettes like I'm not gonna lie like I'm not gonna say oh I'm so good at it like I wouldn't take this to a client but like I feel like I'm very confident in using all of her palettes on myself this came from Dickie him and Carolyn worked on this together to get this here um, for me to open up on Christmas Day. This is Morphe 8W Warm Master Blush Palette. And okay, point proven. Y'all can put the names on the inside of here. Put the freaking names on the inside of the eyeshadows. Like, help somebody out. Really. I'm just saying. I thought it was my idea and y'all already had the idea. So quit being cheap. I'm just kidding, Morphe. Like, I'm not ever gonna come for y'all because, like, y'all are the best. I'm just kidding. I'm saying. I have no blush on. I'm doing this completely backwards because I have bronzer on and highlight, but we're just gonna have, like, a little bit of blush. I'm gonna mix goals and beat just to give some cute color to my cheeks. Why am I holding this so awkwardly? I'm, I'm done. I'm canceled. Another pinky rose, pink paradise. This one, like, I'm honestly really excited for this. I think Carolyn said she was like, I feel like she said she was most terrified for the glitters. Maybe she said this, but I'm like really excited for this. Like, this is fun. Like, this reminds me, like, I know there's a Mean Girls palette and I've seen it and I've played with it, but like, this reminds me of Mean Girls. Like, this should be the Mean Girls palette. Like, this is so exciting. I want to do something with this, I'm not gonna lie. And I already have a Pinky Rose, like, video, so I feel like I should just make, that should be like a collection of videos is with all these Pinky Rose palettes, but I, I'm gonna do something with this because it deserves it. I feel like I've swatched so many pinks, but can't stop, won't stop, ain't gonna stop. I'm swatching this color. 
And then Manny did a gingerbread picture that I got for holidays. And I also feel like that look can be recreated with these top two rows like so easily. So I'm going to swatch this warm glittery ginger color. So those are super cute. I'm really excited for this palette. Which is like odd because like the one day I wore pink on my eye it was like neon day at school. Okay this is, I mentioned it before, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm so glad I got another bottle because I emptied mine dry. I wear this thing like holy water. I love this stuff like for real. It does wonders. I just taste that a little bit and don't even taste bad. You can drink it. Don't drink it. I don't want to get sued. Again, one of the three things I got myself, but I got the gift card because somebody got me a gift card, is the Tartus Pro Glow and Blush. I already put on a blush. I already put on a highlight. So like how many blushes and highlights could I possibly put on in one video? I have the, I don't know what it's called, but I basically have the contour version of this. And so not that I was trying to complete a collection, but I, I genuinely liked what was inside. They put two mirrors on the inside. So I like that one highlight four blushes it has a bronzer but that bronzer has so much glitter in it that's a color i'm gonna swatch for this that i would be terrified okay but oddly swatched oh my god get my life together swatch this made the palette super dirty doing great things in life here it didn't swatch that color at all it swatched way lighter and more keep saying like a gingerbread it swatched way more gingery this video is gonna be like how much makeup can i put on my face but in the video i come up with so many titles in my videos during my videos and then they're never the name of my titles i actually use but i really like this so that's why i bought this for myself because i just buy myself things all the time you know i actually have a really good rule of not buying myself things like the months of november and december except for these two things but again two of the three have gift cards so i feel like that's very justified because it's the time of giving like that sounds so like mm, so busy. but like legit that's why i like don't buy myself that much stuff during those <laughs> that much i don't buy myself stuff like in those two months because like i'm too busy buying other people's stuff this was a fun gift to open this one was not included but we'll include anyways this was carolyn was on a setup for this one this is a pinky rose glitter brush that why did i just do that <laughs> <laughs> this is for all those glitters I showed you. You're supposedly supposed to like when you put down the glitter glue and then you get in the palette and you dip it and then you put it on. It's supposed to apply like so good, like better than your finger. And so I was watching all these videos and like people say like this, mm -mm, they don't trust this. And I feel like a lot of things people try to use like silicone, like whether it's a makeup brush or a sponge, like silicone and makeup just like don't work like people think it should. I think it has to do with like the warmth of stuff. Like it's just not there. This don't get warm. So we're gonna try it once I get the glitter glue. All these Morphe brushes. I have a bucket. Also a bunch of these are all my dirty brushes. And then I have like this other clean Morphe brushes. So I'm excited to add more Morphe brushes. But my mom got me the M213 M500 which this brush I like sort of dying laughing because I've never seen anybody use a brush like this. But as like, I have to, I feel like this is for highlights. <laughs> I need to like fact check myself. So I looked it up. It is for highlight or it can be for like they say dusting off. I'm coming straight on my eye. Dusting off like your loose powder underneath your eyes. My favorite M433. I have like four of these now but they're like great for everything and for a palette I haven't mentioned yet which like maybe my top gift. I heard these are great for. A little fan brush at M310. Get your little highlight on. M562. Just a little detail brush. I feel like this would be really good. I can't see because my mirror is blocked so I know I'm I feel like I'm highlighting my eyelash at this point. This would be really good. I feel like for a little upper highlight right here or a little inner corner highlight there. Some little fine details. And this is an M444. This is a dense little sir. Like, he's dense. This would be great for some contouring, like some deep chiseling. This is the thing that I gave away. Not that I like gave away somebody, but I gave away that I finished my collection. I've been wanting this forever. And this is so obnoxious because I don't, I don't have, I don't keep all of this stuff like I don't keep the boxes but I want to keep this box so bad and put it in like a shadow box and on display I think this box is so freaking pretty and the fact that they spent so much money to design this box when it's would have been so much cheaper design this box and they kept it the exact same price like I want to respect them because I literally love this box way more than this box and like same thing this costs way more than this to make and they're the exact same price and I'm just like I'm in 
in love with this. I'm genuinely in love with this palette. Like this may be like a second runner up. Gonna be an all time favorite palette because of the way it looks, the extra detail. I literally love this palette. But this is the Sultry from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Lose that, lose that. This is a ton of shimmers, six mattes, a lot of neutrals and one pop of color. And I'm not mad at it at all. Like I'm absolutely in love. I feel like this will be a great palette for bridal looks. Like you can give a deep smoky eye with a ton of different shimmers and this could be used a hundred times over and over and over again with so many different brides and no one would ever know it came from the exact same palette. Like I cannot tell you and I'm gonna be obnoxious and keep swatching the same theme. I'm obviously in love with rose golds for the season. So I'm just gonna keep swatching another rose gold that I also fell in love with. And then I wanna swatch this bloom. The first one was rose, I suck at saying their names like they get me i'm pretty sure they like think like well, what words could we put on these palettes that corey cannot pronounce because she's so important in the beauty industry because she has so many followers and she's such a big influencer rose quartz with the z blue and then cyborg is like this really strange silver so those three colors right there are from the palette so officially my anastasia collection is complete i'm sure they'll come out with something tomorrow and my collection will no longer be complete we're down to two things this is the morphe 35m boss babe this one is greens purples and oranges but if i can easily access it like i'm not gonna lie i did a video with the runway pinky rose called it like a scary new orleans video like mardi gras minus the shimmers because there isn't any hello morphe boss babe these look very 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 similar totally different formulas because these are so 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 dusty and hard to work with but they're great and pigmented where these are much easier i know it's morphe they're much easier to work with just very a lot of similarities i'm not gonna lie so i'm not saying it was like an idea was picked from somebody but like you are a bigger brand you are more well known and like if you just look at those palettes there's so many similarities but you go back to like if you look at any of these palettes you just compare every palette has browns every palette has tans every palette has red so like nowadays there i don't feel like there's a single color you can make up an eyeshadow palette that is original anymore because like there's just so many it's been exhausted it's not a bad thing i'm just saying like options are very limited but like i peep a lot of similarities here but you know what who am i you still got somebody's money because they still it was still gifted to me so I'm not mad at it. I still like it. For example, if you were to ever go back and look, like I will swatch this green from Boss Babe. If you were to ever go back and look at my pinky rose eye, look, my green eye look, that was like one of the hardest looks of my life. And like that green just went on so much smoother. And then I'm gonna do this orange. So I feel like that's also a color that like you don't see me using too often. They're pigmented. Pinky Rose is super pigmented, but Pinky Rose is not as easy to work with. But these are much smoother, creamier, and more blendable with the finger and with a brush. Not saying you stole anything. I'm just saying y'all are kind of related and you may not know it. Doppelganger. Last but not least, and I feel like I've decided, I think this may be like my favorite gift because I didn't think it was gonna happen because like when I went around stores and like when I looked online, this was sold out everywhere. And they're like, we're in the same location. So I didn't think anybody else could get their hands on it. If I can get my hands on it for myself, how can somebody else get their hands on it for me? So it was like my last gift I opened and my mom was able to get the Morby James Charles palette, which is like so freaking big big this is ri ridiculous like this is huge i thought this was so awesome that she got this and i could be wrong and she'll correct me i think she got it from a friend in maryland so whoever that friend was thank you because this was like an awesome gift to get to see that she like kept trying to find it and i just think it's so cool it did get restocked literally yesterday and it sold out yesterday yesterday let's see how long it takes me to get this video out you're all gonna catch me on this today is the fourth it restocked on the third and sold out on the third and i got this on christmas so someone got on the original stock date so i think that is awesome i thought this was bigger than my dare to create 39a but it's actually the exact same size so this just means i don't touch my dare to create 39a enough which is my own problem and i should work on that better this is crazy and yes i have been asked to do a review on this or i know there's a bunch of reviews but 
I also know like you all that watch this channel like you all know me I keep saying that you all actually like know me in real life So like if I generally don't like something like I'm not going to like say I do and like this is I don't want to say it's expensive expensive but like this is like a this is giant hey this is a giant thing to have in your collection like you gotta find space for this so like if you're gonna have something this big like you want to you actually want it i generally i will try to get something out on this palette because i know people are wanting to get it and like there will be another restock on it i would think like he's making good money off it if he wouldn't i think he's crazy so i will try to get a video out with this so like you could get you know i'm not getting any type of money off of james or morphe so you can feel like you're getting a genuine an opinion on it i know there's been things said this they are pressed pigments what that means is like the color you're seeing it's like literally they're putting the color on top and then they press it into the color like into the pan so like this will stain like for example like why you can't see now because we're like a thousand shades deep in there like why my hand was stained pink on one of the palettes is because like it's a pressed pigment like it'll stain your eye and on um, one of these it honestly may even say like not meant for your eye yeah it does right here which isn't that interesting like it's an eye shadow but it's literally has the little icon that says press pigment eh, not for your eye but it's like where would you put that like people have been like giving him stuff for that and there's been like bad reviews on that but like wash your face put another curl on you'll be fine move on you're just finding something to complain about honestly like, i think this is like a great palette like i feel like you could do a lot of things with this i feel like it's so giant you can't even be in, like it's not even in this it's not even in here right now like this bottom half i think is like just i think it's crazy that he was able to get all those colors in there and i like i said like i feel like there's no color you could like really put in a palette because it's in every single one at this point and, like i'm looking at this trying to think if there's one i know he was like really big like you can't find a white that's this white and like that stays this white when you actually swatch and i feel like i need an actually clean finger to give that like a fair chance so maybe i'll swatch that white because that was what he was like really big about and then i know the red he was big about because he felt like you couldn't get like a true red somewhere blues are really big right now i feel like i haven't this color blue i feel like i haven't seen that much pink you've definitely seen me have a ton of palettes with that in that this holiday so i think i'm going to swatch this one the red and i'm going to swatch the blue and that'll just be my like my quick right now but i promise i will try to get something out with this because i have been asking multiple people to do something with this and then another fun fact that i have learned i really hope i'm not getting this wrong he has said and it doesn't say of course because morphe won't put it on their face he is like claiming is like the best for a highlight like a great highlight to use so that's something fun i kind of thought i was like i never think to use that as a highlight or anything besides like my eyeshadow so i just feel like my hand looks like a bomb pop okay i know he said like with this white let me just say this i've watched reviews and it said like you cannot like rubbing motions do not work with these pigments like i've watched video after video. that's what it says that's why like a, a review video would be great for other people to know that it's like says like you need to do like a padding motion to like get the color you want i did three swatches with the white and that's as much as I can get out of that I did one swatch with the red and that looks like hot cheeto fire red and that is bomb.com like let me hear you say like that is great and the blue I did it twice and I think that's pretty awesome for that blue so like first impression three colors I'm pretty excited for this palette like I'm hoping I can do some things with it but that is everything I got for Christmas it was a giant haul I'm so excited I love getting makeup <laughs> my people know me thank you for watching tell me what you got for Christmas in the comments what was your favorite item like I think I genuinely I do think James was my favorite. I'm getting color everywhere. I think it was my favorite gift. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my videos. I've been doing really good. Knock on some wood. I'm doing really good getting things out. See you next time. Bye potatoes.